This drug should not be stopped abruptly and should be tapered over two weeks. Omeprazole or Atenolol? And the correct answer is Atenolol. Atenolol is given to treat hypertension and myocardial infarction. Omeprazole is given to treat GERD and ulcers. Omeprazole should be taken 30 minutes before eating. Are you tired of sitting there and trying to absorb pharmacology drug descriptions from your huge textbook? I'm not going to sit here and bore you with what each drug does, signs and symptoms, and nursing indication. I'll just provide you a statement and you will determine which pharmacology drug matches the statement. Feel free to pause after each statement to give yourself time to answer. In my rationale, I will just get straight to the point so you're not feeling overwhelmed with information overload. That's what your textbooks are ready for. So let's have some fun with this and get through 30 pharmacology statements. Statement 1. This drug can be given for GERD or heartburn by decreasing the amount of acid in the stomach. Famotidine or alprazolam? And the correct answer is famotidine. Alprazolam is a benzodiazepine that is given for anxiety or panic disorder. Statement 2. This drug is the loop diuretic that can be given for pulmonary edema, furosemide, or glimepiride. And the correct answer is furosemide. Glimepiride is given for type 2 diabetes management. Statement 3. This drug is given for an overactive bladder. Is it tadalafil or mirabegron? And the correct answer is Mirabegron. Tadalafil is given for erectile dysfunction. Statement 4. This drug is given for depression or anxiety. Is it aphetamine or doxepin? And the correct answer is doxepin. Aphetamine is given for ADHD or narcolepsy. Statement 5. This drug is given for schizophrenia. Olanzapine or lithium? And the correct answer is olanzapine. Lithium is given for bipolar disorder management. Statement 6. This drug is given to treat insomnia. Ondansetron or temazepam? And the correct answer is temazepam. Ondansetron is given to prevent nausea or vomiting. Statement 7. This drug is given to treat hypertension. And lodipine or sumatriptan? And the correct answer is and lodipine. Sumatriptan is given to manage acute migraines. Statement 8. This drug is given for deep vein thrombosis in prevention and treatment. Enoxaparin or meloxicam? And the correct answer is enoxaparin. Meloxicam is given for arthritis pain or inflammation management. Statement 9. This drug is given to manage Parkinson's symptoms. Benzotrine or Velaxpexine. And the correct answer is Benzotrine. Velaxpexine is given to treat depression or anxiety. And apologies if I'm getting these drug names incorrectly. I am trying, but it's just so hard to get these correct. But yeah, just let me know. Statement 10. This drug is given to reduce bloating and gas. Simethicone or mescaline? And the correct answer is simethicone. Mescaline is given for vertical management or motion sickness. Statement 11. Headaches, dizziness, hypertension, and chest pain are adverse effects of which drug? Is it Vardenafil or Lactulose. And the correct answer is Vardenafil, which is used to treat erectile dysfunction. Lactulose is given for constipation relief. Adverse effects of lactulose include nausea, vomiting, and abdominal cramping. Statement 12. Hypoglycemia and headaches are adverse effects of which drug? Calcium carbonate or NPH insulin? And the correct answer is NPH insulin. Calcium carbonate can cause nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Statement 13. Visual disturbances 
photophobia, and eye burning are adverse effects of which drug? Remodin, tartrate, or selectinine? And the correct answer is remonidine tartrate, which is used to treat glaucoma or ocular hypertension. Selegiline is used to manage Parkinson's disease and does not cause visual disturbances, photophobia, and eye burning. Statement 14. Insomnia, headache, orthostatic hypotension, and dizziness are adverse effects of which drug? Donepicil or Timolol? And the correct answer is donepicil, which is used for dementia. Timolol is used for glaucoma and ocular hypertension, which can cause hypotension but not insomnia. Statement 15. This drug is an antidepressant that is used for depression, OCD, panic disorder, and anxiety. Is it pansoprazole or paroxetine? And the correct answer is paroxetine. Pantoprazole is used to treat or prevent ulcers. You're halfway there. Congratulations for making it this far. I really struggle with pharmacology and understand how much information there is. It is so overwhelming, so I try to stay straight to the point to help you out. And you can see my struggles. I'm really trying to um, pronounce these correctly, so please, my huge apologies for if I mess up some words. If you want more study resources, go to qdnurses.com slash start, and you can get 160 free digital flashcards to help you get started. Now, let's continue on to the other half. I do believe in you. Statement 16. This drug should not be stopped abruptly and should be tapered over two weeks. Omeprazole or Atenolol? And the correct answer is Atenolol. Atenolol is given to treat hypertension and myocardial infarction. Omeprazole is given to treat GERD and ulcers. Omeprazole should be give, taken 30 minutes before eating. Statement 17. Which drug should not be given with a sulfite allergy? Tramadol or ketoconazole? And the correct answer is ketoconazole, which is given to treat fungal infection. Tramadol is given to manage severe or chronic pain, which should not be given with benzodiazepines. Statement 18. This drug should not be chewed or crushed. Symethicone or sulcrophate? And the correct answer is sulcrophate, which is used for duodenal ulcers. Symethicone is used to alleviate bloating or gas. Symethicone can be chewed or crushed. Statement 19. This drug may cause serotonin syndrome, sertraline or isenotide. And the correct answer is sertraline, which is used to treat major depression, OCD, PTSD, and panic disorder. Acenotide is used to manage type 2 diabetes and should not be given to clients with severe kidney disease. Statement 20. A client taking this drug should be monitored for suicidal ideation, valerian, or aripropusol. The correct answer is aripropusol, which is used for schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and major depression. Valerian is a herbal supplement that has a variety of purposes, such as hay fever treatment, inflammation, and insomnia. Statement 21. This drug is used to treat or prevent osteoporosis, alendronate, or potassium chloride. And the correct answer is alendronate. Potassium chloride is used to prevent or treat hypokalemia. Statement 22. This drug is used to treat insomnia. Salaplon or allopurinol? And the correct answer is salaplon. Allopurinol is used for gout treatment. Statement 23. This drug is used to reduce cholesterol levels. Clonidine or phenofibrate? And the correct answer is phenofibrate. Clonidine is used for hypertension treatment. Statement 24. If pain is not relieved with this drug, the client should go to the emergency department. Which drug is this? Is it tycopidine ACL or nitroglycerin? And the correct answer is 
nitroglycerin, which is used for angina treatment, heart failure, and acute myocardial infarction. Teclopidine ACL is used for stroke prevention. Statement 25. This drug is used as treatment for tuberculosis, rimpapin, or lamotrigine. And the correct answer is rimpapin. Lamotrigine is used for seizure management and bipolar disorder management. Statement 26. This drug is used for urinary incontinence and overactive bladder. Is it tolterodine tartrate or vardenafil? The correct answer is tolterodine tartrate. Vardenafil is used for erectile dysfunction treatment. This drug was mentioned earlier, so I wanted to see if you're paying attention and if you remember. Statement 27. This drug is used to reduce spasticity in multiple sclerosis and spinal cord injury. Is it ergocalciferol or baclofen? And the correct answer is baclofen. Ergocalciferol is given for vitamin D deficiency treatment and hypoparathyroidism. Statement 28. This drug is given for asthma treatment and emphysema. Is it theophylline or tarsamide? And the correct answer is theophylline. Tarsamide is given for edema. Statement 29. This drug is used to treat allergies and insomnia. Is it diphenhydramine or naproxen? And the correct answer is diphenhydramine. Naproxen is used for pain treatment and inflammation reduction. Statement 30. This drug is used for skin conditions such as psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. Is it fluvacinonide or gemfibrosil? And the correct answer is fluvacinonide. Gemfibrosil is an antilipanic agent used to reduce cholesterol levels. Wow, you've just powered through 30 critical pharmacology statements. Think about how far you come. Were you able to match the drug to the statement accurately? If you nailed more than 15, that's fantastic. Hitting 20, you're on fire. And if you scored 25 or more, I'm starting to wonder if you were a secret pharmacist in a past life. But don't stop here. Your journey to mastering nursing knowledge is ongoing. Click on this next video here. It's packed with even more tips to help you excel in your nursing career. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you in the next video for another dose of learning and success.